well, it's been a long wait. I've been getting old <laughs> trying to wait for something like this to happen. The Warriors! Number one, baby. Warriors. All day. Woo! None of this was ever here when I played. That's for sure. It's over Tuesday. It brings back a lot of memories for me. I played in two finals, 64 and 67, against the Celtics and against the Philadelphia 76ers. So this is a special moment for me. I'm, I'm getting a lot of vicarious pleasure through, through watching this team. It's one of the best arenas to play in. Uh, it's no wonder that these guys have been so successful here with the great fan support that they've had. You had two jerseys away and home, and you went home and washed them after every game and dried them, and then brought them. Yeah, oh, absolutely yourself. Now, you didn't think, you didn't think people washed clothes for you. <laughs> Rick Barry and Nate Thurman have been sensational. Nobody expected us to do anything. Everybody's expecting this team to do something, so that's different. Our expectations were mediocre at best. I'll tell you, in the championship round, our home arena wasn't even available because it had been rented out to the ice capades or the ice follies, one of them. So we had to play in the cow palace. There's always Rick Barry to pull the Warriors ahead. When I talked to the players, I said, you guys could win this championship because if you played your best basketball against any team in the league and they play their best basketball in the seven game series, you will win. But they've been trying to find that third guy every night. Usually it's green, usually it's dollar, and they get a combination of guys coming off the bench and helping them. I don't think that this team has played their best basketball in any game yet. That's the scary part about it. And they just have to go out and play their brand of basketball, or if they do, they'll win the championship.